So exposure to blue light is becoming a major concern to both science and medicine because there's data that supports that blue light can affect our sleep cycles, contributes to eye fatigue, and even hurts the retina in the back of the eye. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you five ways on how you can protect your eyes from blue light. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Joe Allen here from Dr. Eye Health, the channel that helps you with the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. So if you're new here to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. So when it comes to protecting your eyes from blue light, the easiest solution is often to pick up a pair of anti-blue light glasses. Now there's many different brands out there. Of course, if you're a prescription glasses wearer, purchasing from your local optical store is often gonna get you the best quality of glasses, including blue light filters. Otherwise, if you're somebody who doesn't wear glasses that much, or doesn't have a prescription and just need some type of blue light glasses filter, then a lot of times you can find a lot of cool brands online. Now this one I actually got from a store called Glassy who actually has more of a specialty in blue light protecting glasses. This is actually called a sleep pair of glasses and you can see how dark yellow they are on my face. Now that's gonna be a lot different from other designs like these ones, which is a little bit more clear, but maybe has a kind of a purple blue hue coming off of the lenses. So that's one of the biggest things you'll notice with blue light glasses is that there's a huge wide variety of different frames and lenses out there. Now the reason for the darker yellow lenses like these ones is these ones actually block more blue light than these ones do. The blue light filters are actually built into the lenses here and that makes them kind of a yellow color and actually blocks more of the longer wavelengths of light that affect our sleep cycles, hence why they're called sleep glasses. Otherwise, if you're somebody who doesn't like the yellow kind of look here on my face, then perhaps you're using a pair that just has more of a clear lens and this anti-reflective coating that actually bounces the blue light off of the lenses and therefore reduces the blue light getting into the eye. However, keep in mind that these sort of clear lenses may not offer as much blue light protection as these yellow lenses. I personally usually wear a type of clearer lens most of the day, and then when I'm home at night in front of a computer screen, I'm wearing more of the dark sleeping lenses. So the second way to protect your eyes from blue light is if you're not a huge fan of anti-blue light glasses, consider switching over and picking up some type of anti-blue light screen protector from OcuShield here. Now they have different screen protectors that fit all different sizes of laptops and desktop screens, but they also do make different screen protectors for cell phones. So if you're somebody who uses an Android or an iPhone, they make screen protectors for you. Now I am not sponsored by OcuShield, but I have reached out to them and they were cool enough to give us a discount code of 15% when you use iHealth at checkout. The third option is if you have something like a cell phone or digital device that has the ability to go into a blue light mode or a night shift mode, then go ahead and turn that on. That's gonna shift the light coming off of your digital device into more of a yellow filter. That way it reduces the amount of harsh light entering your eye, particularly at nighttime when people are staring at their phones right before going to bed. Now I know a lot of desktop monitors do not have this app capability, so there actually are different software programs and one that I've used is called Iris. Now, Iris actually has the ability to have a kind of a subscription service. I use the Pro version. It actually allows you to kind of switch between different levels of blue light protection, whether it's something you want really faint or something that you want more intense. So you can definitely look into that if you're more of a desktop user. Now the fourth way to protect your eye from blue light is to consider taking some type of eye vitamin. Now there's a lot of data that suggests that blue light could actually increase the metabolic stress of the back of the eye, and that could actually lead to cell death and damage. Now the real reason by supplementation and eating a lot of healthy foods is good for the eye is that it increases not just the amount of antioxidants inside the eye, but the, it actually increases what's called the MPOD, or the macular pigment optical density. Now this product I'm holding here is the one that I actually take and is called I Promise Restore. And this one is specifically designed not for people with macular degeneration, but to increase your macular pigment optical density to help prevent future eye diseases and damage from things like blue light. They also even have one specifically for screen protection for people who are younger than age of 18. There's a lot of other benefits in the literature about taking eye supplementation as well, mainly in that they increase your ability to see better in low light situations and it improves contrast between colors. I always say that before taking any supplementation, make sure that you talk with your doctor and read the ingredients list on the back to make sure you're not allergic to any of the ingredients. Also, if you'd like to see more information about this product specifically, I have included a link in the description below. 
Now the fifth way to reduce blue light exposure is often the hardest, and that is to reduce the amount of screen time that you have throughout the day. I know from being at work all day or being at school, we, we all have basically computer screens or phones that we're looking at all day long. But I think if you are certainly winding down toward the end of the day, and if you can just try to put your phone away for the last two, three hours of the day, that's at least some way that you're gonna reduce that blue light exposure and at least not affect your sleep cycle. So my health question of the day, which of the five options mentioned here was your favorite? Go ahead and comment in the section below. I'd love to know what you think. All right, thanks for watching. If you've got something out of this video, hit that like button for me, subscribe if you're new. And if you'd like to see another video in my entire series about blue light protection, go ahead and click or tap the screen up here to the side. Or if you'd like to see another cool video from Dr. Eye Health, just click or tap the screen down over here. Again, this is Dr. Joe Allen here from Dr. Eye Health. The channel helps you with the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. Keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon.